16-22 uh, held both in person at the town council chambers 30 main street and remotely from uh matt's location in scotland <laughs> the first of our first right. of our kind ever would have a meeting held remotely in scotland congratulations uh okay so we're underway yep. uh our uh first order of business is to uh call a roll find out who's actually here councillor pillsbury present councillor daniele here councillor bradley here here thank you the vice chair egan is here excused councillor fournier and councillor lawrence and councillor filch uh, I believe the next order is the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. All right. Uh, we'll take a motion to waive the reading of the minutes. So moved. Second. Any questions about the minutes? All in favor of approving the minutes as presented? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Minutes are adopted. Thank you, Chris. Uh, let's see. Uh, town manager's report. Yeah, I have. Um, I will just read off of the announcements. How's that since we don't have our chair here? Um, nomination papers for the November 2022 municipal election are available on July 28th. Um, the following offices will be elected. Town Council at large in District 1, three uh, year terms each. Sewer District, two seats, each three year terms. Water District, one seat for a three year term. RSU five, two seats for three year terms and one seat for a two year term. Um, papers are due back to the clerk on September 14th, 2022. And uh, the next, the only other announcement we have is that the public works department will be, uh, has started their annual catch basin cleaning and is also, uh, has been now underway for a couple of weeks, the Spark Cove Road paving project. Um, and Arnold Road paving project will begin uh, is beginning the first of this month, July. So I'm assuming it's underway right now, although I don't have a report on that. These announcements must be carried out. So um, other than that, Mr. Vice Chair, um, I'll move it uh, back to you. We do have public comment on the agenda, but there is nobody in the room right now here at the council chambers beside your fellow councilors. Anybody else on Zoom? Uh, we have a member of the press on Zoom. So, hi, Jim, nice to see you today. If you want to need to speak on anything, feel free to use the raise hand feature. But other than that, we'll assume he's just here to listen. I think, I think uh, Councillor Bradley had some information exchange that he wanted to go over, is that correct? Well, I just wanted to say there is an information exchange that we haven't identified. Um, yeah. I actually do have one thing. Um, Maybe two. One, the first is that um, over the past three weeks or so, uh, I've been working on restoring an old Cape Dory. And it had a real emotional uh, value to me because it, it belonged to Peter Horn, who was a close friend and a, a, a Flying Point resident who was very important to the community. He's Eric Horn's father. Um, and I found the Cape Dory when I was going down with Eric down a road, and it was sitting in the woods. And we picked it up and we restored it. And two nights ago, it took off on the extremely high tide, and I lost it. And I, I was surprised at how emotional I got because I thought I'd really lost Peter a second time. Um, and I just want to report that Charlie Techo, our harbor master, found it today. And he looked hard for it and he worked for it and i just can't thank him enough for what he did uh for me my family and the horns to find this little old cape dory that we've been restoring and bring it back to mccoy bay very very significant and i thank charlie for London. The bottom of my heart um that's all i got that's a great story all right 
being no any other any other items for information exchange all right we'll move on your report peter oh, i just i'm winging that. it here i don't have the agenda in front of me so i'm trying to go by memory no nope, that's all i had mr chair thank you what i mr vice chair acting chair what i had just read so um okay so uh, on to our action item yeah, we've got six order of business public comment, but there is nobody here, so I'm assuming that that's not required. There's nobody on Zoom as well. So, um, yep, and so right, the- we'll, we'll, skip, we'll skip over that and go to the first action item. Do we have a consent agenda? We do not have a consent agenda, so that is not on the agenda this time either, so we are moving right along. The first, or I'll read the first order of business since we're all disjointed here. Uh, item 141.22 is relative to setting a public hearing for special amusement renewals. Special amusement permit renewals. Um, John, can we, I'll just have Ed or Jake read it if you don't have the agenda in front yes, of you. Yes, please, I don't, I don't have Be it ordered that a public hearing be set for August 2nd, 2022 at the town council meeting that starts at 6 p.m. to discuss the following special amusement renewals. Hilton Garden Inn, Athena's Cantina, Stars and Stripes, Harrisicut Inn, Cadenza, and Mass Landing Brewing. Be it further ordered. Copies be distributed equally between the town clerk's office, town manager's office, and the Freeport Community Library for inspection by citizens during normal business hours, and the notice be placed on Freeport's local cable channel three and the town's website. Second. Uh, any discussion? I, I have one comment. I, I thought this was the, the quote unquote fund permit that we were getting rid of. Have we not gotten rid of it yet? It is, I think we got a, I think we're gonna be, um, a good good question mr vice chair i think we're going to be recommending a lot of edits to it but not a straight outright repeal and okay. so i think that they'll probably well chris if you want to go ahead and comment as well chris wolf is standing up at the podium here john you can't see her yet but yeah discussed the repeal of the special amusement because we're not going to repeal it and we're going to do some form of amendment all of these folks are up for renewals that expired in july so we felt now we still have to do it we yeah. still have to move Got forward it. with that okay okay thank you okay any other questions no no questions in the room mr vice chair all right all those in favor aye, aye. aye. any opposed all right, motion carries four to zero. Next item, Peter. Okay, next and last item on the agenda is action to relative, uh, consider action relative to accepting the extension of cable television franchise agreement between the town of Freeport and Comcast of Maine, New Hampshire, Inc. for the period of 7-30-22 until 7-30-23. Be it ordered that the extension of cable television franchise between the town of Freeport and Comcast of Maine slash New Hampshire, Inc. for the period of 7-30-2022 until 7-30-2023 be approved, be it further ordered that the town manager be authorized to ex ex execute the agreement in place of the council. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Any conversation about uh, the one-year uh, extension until we can get a proper committee discussion about this item? That's the purpose of the extension, correct, Peter? So that we can uh, reform our cable committee and have a proper process on how to look at this contract renewal? Correct, Mr. Chair. And we've uh, started, our legal team started just talking with uh, Comcast and they're going to be appearing. Uh, ben Plant, who's an attorney at Drummond Woodsum who works in utilities, will be coming to the council either uh, at a council meeting or an executive session to discuss with you some of his points that uh, he has going forward some of the advice for the renewal negotiations and that and then talk about uh, the process and the committee and things like that so that'll be in the next he's expecting that next one to two months so um, I told him to keep his foot on the gas so that it doesn't fall by the wayside and uh, he'll be coming in front of the council to talk about the long-term uh, you know tentative 10-year type of agreement later this uh, probably September is what I'm guessing early fall right Okay. Uh, any other conversation? Matt, you okay with that? I'm good. All right, that's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of the one-year extension? 
Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries four to zero. I move we adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? World's fastest Freeport Town Council I wonder meeting. If it is. Fabulous. Six ten. Good night, Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for thank you for uh, inconveniencing yourself, Chair, uh, Vice Chair Egan. Really appreciate it. Thank you. No, it's, I'm 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 up. Um, you know, still not used to the time zone here, so um, it uh, wasn't an any inconvenience at all. I had a splendid day, and tomorrow I terrify the world and drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Okay, good luck. Condolences and uh, we'll we'll look out for your safe return. Thanks, John. Thank you all. See you uh, soon. Good night. Bye bye. This one going on the other side of the road. No, oh, thank you. Try it. It's great. Sure. And then left hand shifting and stuff, super fun. Oh, left hand shifting. Woo. I, I hit it now and I'm